This is the touch of color in the touch. Conversations, including tasks about all work. Digitalization is a similar word word about it at our meetings. Quite a few years ago, the word computer and morphology have shared the same fate of popularity. Uh, so, digitizing and uh, digitalization, digitizations, uh, digitalization is, are, are these uh, key words, but there is a great difference between digitizing and databases. Uh, Technically speaking, digitizing is conversion from uh, digital, uh, from analog to digital form, and it helps, of course, a lot because unique books, unique documents are available quickly and accessible, uh, in, which are not in some other way. But uh, as uh, the number of uh, documents and books grows and uh, corpus grows, we lose control over it. So if we work with a lot of in my case, plots and texts, which are very similar, then uh, you cannot handle all that material, and the database is the only way to control uh, such big uh, materials and processes. Uh, ten years ago, Mirjana Petrovic and Grants of Engineer Grants of Homage made this electronic database that I will show it to you. And it is FCPS analytical data, the base of all data, and it forms an analytical database, which are available on few internet, internet addresses. Uh, it was also uh, available at the National Library of Serbia, but at the moment it is not. This database consists of 21 volumes of epic poems, and it is uh, uh, 1,255 uh, 1, poems, and it is more than a 300 and 30,000 verses. As you heard from Cristobal, these verses are very similar. Uh, uh, they, they are, uh, uh, this language is from like and prone to repetitions. And when you read only 10 poems, you lose uh, not uh, only control over slight twist, twist linguistic twists and uh, uh, details of formula, but also about the roughest uh, plot uh, lines. So, uh, the only way to, to, to handle all that is to have database and it uh, looks, this is a policy course, and it's, it's uh, how can I fix this? So, uh, you have, we have to have this, uh, this tool to make statistical data uh, and to derive statistical data that large corpus. This, uh, as I told, this, uh, this is how it looks like, and uh, this is, uh, is searchable by one word, which in Serbian has many cases, seven cases, or a group of words, for example, well, it's a white space, and here gives all, what, what, uh, all verses that have that simple noise formula or something like that. And then you, you go to the concrete one and uh, so, uh, uh, speaking, uh, I will show you uh, here uh, uh, how uh, uh, how on on, on uh, with how how it works with the colors. 
uh, the idea was uh, my idea was to connect cognitive linguistics because uh, uh, in seventies uh, there was an um, important uh, book by Robin Brandt and Paul K about uh, uh, basic color terms, and since then there is debate, debate about uh, universalism. Uh, uh, is it universal or, or uh, uh, particularly different in every country? How do the languages name the colors? I will show you how it works in the epics. Generally, epics looks very vivid and very colorful. Colorful because there are many uh, like sense who denotes uh, uh, colors or uh, nouns that are derived from the roots which denote colors. Uh, especially when we speak about uh, horses, they are named by their uh, color. Is it white, black, or gray, uh, and similar, or uh, some words? And also some personal names are derived from the names of the colors. Uh, but the, 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 this also uh, comes from the, the huge uh, big descriptions of the clothes, of the weapons. It's all ornamental and it looks like uh, everything is uh, colorful. But when we make statistics, when we derive statistics in this way from this database, <laughs> then we get totally different, different picture. So, uh, there are many adjectives, as I call, uh, present in this uh, discourse, oral discourse. It's for black, white, gray, green, red, yellow, and blue. These are uh, variations, which means the same. So, Zerna, Chana, Chana, Kadabar. There are different rules. Some are Slavic, some are Turkish, but they all denote black. For white, we have usually one per word. And for red, for example, there is uh, uh, it's all the hues of red. Uh, the nouns um, no, sorry. No, it's okay. So I tell all the pranas. It's a black horse, Dora is a bay horse, alat, chestnut. Uh, Jogat, it's Turkish word, Belitz is a Slavic word, for white horses, similar. Some oikonyms or toponyms, the names of the places, are also derived from the instruments which mean black, kara, is black in Turkish. Kara, lavats, kara, liman, kara, liman, similar. And the, the, when, when we speak about white, it's usually uh, in Slavic, Slavic words. Belgrad, Belgrade, Bel means white, white city. Biela, Biela, Polya, Biela, and Etc. Uh, when we go to statistics now, uh, white appears seven uh, thousands and uh, seven hundred fifty times in all this corpus. More than hundred times, white is tower. So this is maybe the most frequent formula in this corpus, and he is representative because it consists both of Christian and Muslim uh, songs, once. Uh, between 500 and 1000 is hall and city, then comes arm, day, church, road, book face. So you can notice that not some, some, some accounts uh, are expected here as a day, it's, it's not a white day, it's a book because the paper is white and similar. But for example, city, why should city be white and why tower and hall would be white in such frequency? So there are some other reasons, not only realities that formula depends on. Now we go to black. We have 4,000 uh, 4, and 400 uh, uh, kids. Uh, Montenegro, it's a country and it's uh, the most frequent because it's also area where some of these ones are collected, so it's expected result. Then comes earth, earth, ice, horse, mountain, sheep, raven, blood. It's, it's interesting that in epic poetry, blood is black. It's not red, but black. And now we come to gray. It's 803. Uh, it's also some variations, Siva, Sina, Sura. These are hues of gray, uh, slightly different. And green is the only color. So we had first white, uh, black, and gray, which are achromatical uh, uh, values of this spectrum. Now when we go to uh, chromatic, value of the spectrum, it's green, red, yellow, and blue. And we get totally different result. But the only color that follows this uh, achromatical uh, spectrum, uh, 
Its values is green. I think it's because of mountain grass field fur uh, jacket. It's material, uh, color material. And it is expected because it's it's about uh, plants and, and uh, environment. It comes from reality. But when we look the other three colors, we get extremely low results. For example, blue only eight, 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 uh, four times in the focus of uh, so much verses, and red only 230 with blush and blue, you know, which is something between yellow and uh, red. And yellow plus gold gives approximately 1,000. So statistics says that uh, when we compare this, achromatic part of the spectrum is almost or even more than 75%, and chromatic only 25%, 30%, which is totally unexpected result. And this is a result that you cannot get anyway uh, except uh, by using this database, because no one can have control over 300 and uh, uh, three, three hundred fifty uh, thousands of verses, and it is also just a small part of the corpus. Much of the corpus is not uh, included in this in this database. So, what it generally says about formula and about this our uh, our discourse, uh, it's very similar to the findings of this or linguistical researches because, uh, as I know. Uh, the only colors that are present in every language are uh, uh, the only uh, uh, terms that are present in every language of the world, especially in industrial languages, are uh, for black and white or for something that is light or dark. So pure spectrum, light and dark. And it is exactly what we have here. Uh, many languages do not have a wide, uh, wide spectrum of terms for the colors. It's, it, it can be only red or maybe two more colors, but uh, every has this black and white. It's probably connected, I suppose it's connected. It's now a term for, for the uh, research and analyze. Uh, I suppose it has something to do with uh, just the human cognition and perception. And uh, what would be universal in these linguistic uh, terms should be, uh, it is uh, this uh, uh, perception and naming of achromatical parts of the spectrum and not of uh, this chromatic part, which I think that it, it's, it's neglected somehow in these papers which I read from linguistics. They all focus on blue and green and is it determined, uh, so-called so blue color which combine blue and green. We have also that situation in, in our typology because falcon is called a sieve zelen software, which literally means gray, green, falcon. And both words are part of the formula, which denotes nowadays, they denote different colors, but in some diachronic it was the same, it was uh, green, it was gray, so also this part of, of, of the part of that statistics from green goes in gray, because it really actually also is, uh, likes it is green, it means gray, because when we speak about green horse, it's gray horse, about green falcon, it's gray falcon, about green sword, it's gray sword, it's not green, of course. So I saw some connection between uh, these uh, few research areas and the colors. And of course, it's 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 much wider theme than can I present here, and uh, then I am uh, competent for these different things. So thank you. Thank you. So questions for me. Thank you very much. Very interesting. I have two questions. First, this um, small question: Why did you include Montenegro uh, in, uh, in uh, the category of black? Mm -hmm. Because I suppose in Montenegro the conceptual value of black is not there. It's just the name Montenegro. Negro, negro means so, black. Yeah, of course. But uh, say Montenegro, you refer to not to a black quality, uh -huh. but uh, to the land. It's not uh, the same as saying black mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, it's it's hard, for example, if you, I, I, I didn't have enough time to, to go to every of these uh, lessons. Yeah. Uh, Montenegro is in Serbian, Serbagora, and of course in Montenegrin language, it's Serbagora. You have Serbagora as a country, and Serbagora as formula, which means only black mountain, 
black forest, black hill, and it is a written with label, label uh, not, not capital letter, small letter, and you can want to name as a country. And so it's also hard to make a difference here. I made it because I know it, 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 from the context, is it one or the second thing? But uh, originally, Montenegro also meant black content. It, it came from that. It doesn't mean today for you, but uh, 100 years ago, it originated from it. It's also for white city, Belgrade. Belgrade, it's not because it's white. Just it has some roots, variation roots. And my second question is, uh, uh, have you found some symbolic uh, conclusion uh, of this frequency? I'm not sure if I can follow your conclusions on uh, cognitive linguistic universals into uh, out here, because you know, it's not about language, it's about oral poetry, which is a minor part of language, and a very special task, kind of communicative task too. Uh, I was wondering if there's a, a symbolic explanation for frequencies of black and white. Black and white. Strong. It's, it's, it's a question for one PhD. <laughs> it's very huge and very, it's hard to explain it in few words. The symbolic is, is very, it has many, many layers and from the different uh, cultures and different times. Uh, for example, White City, there is a book, White City, about epic uh, formula. Milia Lenich is also one of the authors, which shows that from Indo European, you have uh, culture and uh, Indo European intelligence, which comes symbolic of that, that, that one term. And where is White Church? White, white Fairy, for example. White means good, generally, means good, because it, 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 it inclines the word hero, every hero. Everything of hero is or white or uh, yellow or gold. So this is this white part of the spectrum. It has white face, white hands, white throat. Everything is white or bright. Uh, but it also is a color of that. And it comes from some deeper roots. But fairy, as a, a demonic uh, female creature, she is white. Fairy or elf is a white. Church is also white, but white. Uh, to now they will perceive, uh, perceive it as a holy place. But it is not a place for humans, it's a place for God. So it's also something that is strange. We have a uh, idiom, belly sweat. Belly sweat means white world. It means other world, something that is very far from here. So semantics of white and both black is not unique. It's not, it's not homogenous. It's very uh, complex. And why black and white? I suppose as a language, uh, when you need a very enormous uh, measure of economy, you choose uh, the most uh, uh, the, the most distant parts of the spectrum as in the space up and down. It's also semantized in many ways. Up is good and down is bad, up is bird and down is snake, and whatever comes more. Black and white is also that they're uh, extremely uh, different by human perception, obviously. And uh, so, so uh, they have potential to uh, de denote different things, not only which are uh, connected to perception, also about semantics, about ethics, about ideology also. You know, a uh, uh, hero is white and a uh, typical anti-hero in, in, in this poetry is black art because he is black. So, this is in the Christian, in, not in the Muslim. Yes, <laughs> not in the Muslim. In the Muslim, uh, 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 Karaj is a hero from the first uprise. Karaj Petrovic, he is George Petrovic, but he was named from, uh, by the Turks as Karaj which means Black George. So the opposite hero is always marked as black. That's, that's logic from both sides. Uh, uh, regarding to that, I would like to say that. Um, a green color is uh, in that period of time. Uh, all the, have always been a, has always been a symbolic for Muslims. So uh, when a hero uh, wears a um, green uh, jacket, then uh, I know the reader because I do not yes, to this true. country that that is a not Muslim. But also that that is my question regarding, for example, when um, falcon or something uh, is. Um, uh, named by colors, 
and uh, when that gray, um, when these colors are, for example, a gray, red, a gray, uh, green, uh, it can means means that uh, that the falcon belongs to a Muslim hero. No, 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 no. No, it cannot. That what jacket is a show, and what is interesting in these poems. Uh, Green jackets were uh, Christian heroes as a sign of confrontation. It's forbidden for them to wear green jackets. They cannot do regularly that, but when they do that, it's a sign of, conf of, of uh, confronting to the roles. So it's like being a hero. And for the Falcon, it is not the case. It's the, 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 it's the history of the language, one thing, and the other is that the mixture of colors on some deeper level. Deeper, deeper layer of, of language. Horse is green too. Yes. Horse is green. Wolf is green. So it's it's the color of that chair. It's it's it was named green in, in tradition. For a long time. Uh, does it mean that then this uh, horse or um, horse is dead as a master? No, 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 no. It is, doesn't have to. Uh, horse and uh, animals are never dead. Only heroes are bad. Animals always good. There is no division between animal animals. Mm -hmm. And heroes can exchange animals. One hero take kills kills his enemy and take his horse and, and uh, sometimes weapons and whatever. It's not it's not marked that way. It's more than enough for a PhD and more. This is why we're complaining that 99% of literary <laughs> studies is not written text and nobody studies not poetry. Any more questions? Okay. Which of the colors match this epic poems? This one? Yeah. It's uh, from Lukaric, which is. Uh, let's say middle uh, 19th century and it, the, the latest collection in this corpus is from 1940 it's Matiza collection the last collection ninth book but it is collected collected during all this period some uh, mo most of the poems are at the end of the 19th century so it's pretty old corpus it's it's this is the corpus which is not uh, compromised by forgery and later comes forgeries and uh, thinking Comparison to poetry, much, but this is a, like a research area, uh, which is. Uh, I don't hear you. A comparison between the uh, epic poems and the poetry, which is not. Uh, in that time? No, I like which one? That time to now, and there is maybe it's there. Uh, like you mean written poetry? Yeah. Uh, to compare this poetry yeah. with nowadays yeah, because uh, of the reducing of the colors and uh, like, uh, another PhD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I, I will compare it with, with written. I, I don't think it, 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 you, you, you would get some results, some special result from that. Because now you can use color cover what you want. And this is somehow, uh, there are rules, uh, for formula that you use that you take from previous singers and you cannot uh, do whatever you want with that. It's an old traditional discourse. Yeah. One one field that is quite productive is a comparison of Homer, simply because there are some people in classical studies, in primary studies, who, who really have, have done research. And since it is a 23 century old discipline, we, we have managed to, to do some research on that. And we do have a lot of comparisons between Homer and the written epics, because that's something that's something manageable as a comparison. So you compare Homer with uh, Hellenistic epics, who were, uh, of course, relying on the traditional background, but they were totally composed in writing and by literary poets who were not performing at all. Or you can compare with the Latin poets, Virgil, which, which are a little bit further away. And then uh, you find that over the in general, because again, this is not just one PhD dissertation, there are many. But in general, the, what you find, not only from colors, but from other things, is that although there is, uh, they rely on, on many stock phrases that they try to, to import from home. The final polishing that writing gives you, so I sit down and defend this line and get it and get away with it, uh, really seems to be 
messing around with, with a couple of content and, and, and gives you very good profile. So it's it's very easy analyzing a few lines and focusing on several key aspects to, to understand when the text is written poetry and not poetry. Mm -hmm. Yes, but for conclusion, of, uh, uh, just following the, the, the idea, for conclusion, if something is written or, or orally uh, improvised, it, you need a huge, huge, uh, huge number of verses. Mm -hmm. You have to prove that formula exists in many cases, not only a few times or some, some few repetitions. And uh, what this component that you mentioned was from the founder of the magical regions and other singers from the very world, they, uh, these poems that they sang, and that they are, they are won sometimes 12,000 verses. It cannot be sang orally in some authentic situations. This, uh, the longest song was more than 30,000 verses, and it was sang 21 days. And he sang five days, and then he lost his voice, and then he continued after 12 days to few, three more days. So it's not a common situation. It's, it's uh, in a way of improv improv improvisation. It's not original situation, but the popularity shows that it it, it depends on this this discourse and this language. So yeah, the that's density of formula. On that particular occasion, there was a very special motivation, which was that Milton Parry was paying the singer for the Yes, work. yes, yes. <laughs> and the researchers do not care with him once, yes. We have also one uh, other way of paying. Bukadzic uh, had one great singer, it's uh, Stavis Milia, old man Milia, and he was paid by Rakia. He didn't want to sing until he comes with, with Schnapps. <laughs> so yeah. And that he, he sang. Uh, and he lost, of course, lines and things like that. So, it's okay. 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 okay.